Glow effects will make your lights seem more realistic and can add a bunch of mood to any game if done correctly. However, it's pretty hard to do them in Scratch. So now I'll show you how to create awesome looking glow effects in the Scratch Vector Editor. Hi, I'm Leonard from Bad Brick Studio. Now I'm going to show you how to make glow effects that will look like real lights, but also blaster and lightsaber effects or neon lights. It seems that everyone has been doing this in the last month. So here are my analytics showing you that not even 30% of you are subscribed. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and like would really mean a lot to me. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, I'll show you how to do it and then I'll explain how it works. This will be the general effect we're going to aim for and also a reference. So head into the costume area and choose Vector. This is how light and glow effects are usually done in Scratch. Not very realistic and to be honest it also looks cheap. For our effect we'll start off by making a circle with a gradient from a solid color in the middle to transparent outwards and on top of that a smaller circle, fully solid color. You could also start with the solid one first and then the gradient and put it back one layer but it really doesn't matter, the smaller circle has to be in front and the gradient circle in the back. This already is pretty cool shine effect but when you want to make it brighter there are essentially two ways depending on what you want to achieve. For bright light, make the inner circle some sort of really bright color, like plain white even. For a less bright and more colored light source, make the centerpiece some light color. Then go to the gradient circle and make the colored aspect the same color as the inner one, but have it a bit more darker or more saturated. Already looks pretty great. Now to how it works. We evaluate the brightness of a certain light source off of its surroundings. That's why a light appears brighter in a dark area than in a light one. Instrumental to this is contrast. So, to make the light look brighter than it actually is, we surround it with a contrast color. To make it seem like there is a high contrast. If you look closely at the reference, you can see that this is there too. This contrast effect even works with white light sources on a white background. But the world is often a bit darker than what we think it actually is. So to help the light effect, you may want to add just your colors to make them a bit darker and less saturated. I hope this will help you in your projects and I'm looking forward to seeing more realistic lights and glow effects in Scratch projects from now on. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications to not miss any further tutorials. See you in the next video. Special thanks to my supporters Bamfox and Plus One.